What's going on guys, Pepperbelly here bringing you some Black Lay Retribution, playing some Domination on Vertigo, I think. Don't remember the name of the map. Anyway, I got a few topics I want to be talking about today. Uh, one is mouse acceleration, and two is basically updates on what you're going to expect from my channel in the near future. I've already told you guys this, if you guys have watched my last video, the, the Age of Chivalry has begun, or whatever. Basically, you guys know that I've backed Chivalry Medieval Warfare on their Kickstarter page, and I am anxiously awaiting the beta that will open up, and I have privileges, as well as anyone else who has the beta access, to play and record and put all their shit on YouTube. So, obviously, I'm going to be doing that a lot. Now, I'm going to be posting lots of Chivalry shit. I'm pretty much going to be, like, 100% into Chivalry, like... I will eat and breathe chivalry for like a very long time. Like I have Blacklight Tango down. It's pretty much my new my new game, which I'm looking really, really forward to playing all the time. It's gonna be really, really good. If you guys haven't even looked at it yet, go and look at their website, go check out all their shit. It's gonna make you like your brain implode. It's gonna be pretty sweet the new stuff they're coming out with. But anyway. Oh oh and they also they met their first stretch goal. Now it's pretty sweet. Uh, they had stretch goals since they already got their 50,000, so their people, you know, they were like, okay, what can we add? So, new weapons for the first stretch goal, which is 60,000. Fisticuffs, bitch, for the second one, which is 70,000. And then dual mode, and then so on and so forth. And uh, we already met the first one, we're at 61,000 something, or 62,000. We're up there right now, so it's pretty cool. I might raise, I'm hoping to, depending on the situation right now, I might end up raising my, uh, my uh, pledge. But other than that... Shit's going well. So, next thing on topic, Interstellar Marines. Now, there's a green light available for that on Steam. You guys should definitely go and vote that up. Express your interest in the game. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with Interstellar Marines, but that's another game that they're going to be starting a Kickstarter for in October that I'm fully going to be behind as well. Now, I'm going to support the living fuck out of those guys because they've been developing games for a while now, since 2000. I don't even remember what it is, but I know people have been saying it's been seven years since they started developing the game and uh they've actually moved from unreal engine to unity engine all that kind of stuff there's been a lot of things with them and they recently hit a recent snag which is uh, a huge problem for them right now which is why they're making a desperate attempt at kickstarter and hopefully going to be able to woo, break dance in celebration of interstellar marines having a kickstarter and that's basically what they're going to be doing coming out with the kickstarter is going to be pretty sweet uh, i want to be all over that shit like butter on toast like a midget on hot naked lady and shit like that and I'm going to be trying to promote it as much as I can try to get as much content regarding anything I know I brought you deadlock at one point uh, which was like that multiplayer component was free for a while because I didn't make uh, I'm not a spearhead or a frontliner or all that kind of shit I'm just enlisted on their website but uh, the reason why I'm not is because well Kickstarter is a perfect place to you know promote the game give them money because Kickstarter's, you know, that's where it's going to count. Recently, that's where it's really going to count. Because, you know, the, their latest post was talking about how shitty, unfortunately, that they had this person who was pretty much uh, funding them 80%, and then 20% was what was coming in from Frontliners, Spearheaders, all that shit, that pre-ordered and bought the game, gave them money. 30 bucks, I think, was the top one. Or whatever, and I was really considering doing it as well, but since I heard that they are going to do a Kickstarter, I was like, fuck yeah, I'll give them money through that instead. But, uh... Yeah, so definitely go on Greenlight, vote it up. Also, Black Mesa on that as well, because those are really interesting games. And, uh, yeah, man. Anyway, so now I'm going to be talking a little bit about mouse acceleration and DPI settings and all that kind of shit that relates to mouses. Now, I'm a huge fanatic for game peripherals. I love fucking awesome, like, keyboards and shit. Like, I'm getting myself a new Razer keyboard. I have myself a Razer headset. I have myself a Razer Mamba 2012 edition. Uh, I have all this crazy shit. I'm planning on splurging a little bit more. I'm going to be getting like a whole bunch of new stuff from my PC, whatever, to enhance pretty much my PC experience. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about mouse acceleration and about DPI settings and all that kind of crap. Because I've been just like jogging my memory. I've been, like just been going to town. My memory, what the fuck? Jogging my my mind pretty much. Just going with all these crazy settings for like mouse settings. And uh, basically I want to talk about how I've been... Because I've been playing a lot of Counter-Strike Global Offensive... And it started doing a little bit of mouse tweaks so I can have, like, mouse acceleration on. It's just, you know, because I was a sniper in that game. I love sniping in the Counter-Strike. I'm not necessarily the best at it, but, I mean, I discovered it by accident, pretty much. It was a complete accident. Like, I was just sitting there, 
in one match, sniping, and I started shooting the fucking shit out of everybody, and I was like, whoa, okay. Um, maybe I should start sniping from now on instead of taking, like, an M4 or an AK or something, which I don't seem to do very well with, because every time I jump out, I'll shoot them. And I'm pretty sure I'm getting headshots. Like, I'm 90% sure I'm getting headshots, but somehow I'm always, like, one-shotted by a pistol or something, because some people are just that hardcore. They're like, boom, headshot from across the map with, like, a throwing knife. Even though you can't throw knives in that game, that's my point. They're just that good. But, uh... Yeah, so basically, I want to talk about how I've been fooling around with my mouse forever since I bought it. The first one I had to RMA, but the Razer products I've heard are generally pretty good when they perform well. Uh, there's Snap's driver app and all that shit for, like, ooh, I have Snap's, you know, like, apparently it's not that good. There's Snap 2.0, which there apparently people are saying is good, but there's some issues with it as well. But I'm pretty sure it's a lot better than the original Snap's. A lot of people don't even use it. Uh, I do because I like to have my cali surface calibration and all that shit turned on, so it gives me a little bit more of an edge. Even though I can honestly tell you I don't really notice that much of a difference. But anyway, that's besides the point. So I'm going to be telling you about how this all started with Blacklight on the Blacklight Retribution forums. Now, I was reading about uh, mouse, you know, recommendations and all that crap. And people were saying that basically what you should do is you should always turn down your sensitivity to the lowest possible factor in the game. So in-game. And turn your DPI on your mouse as high as you can to a comfortable level. So it's not like overly fucking fast or too insane for you to handle but just so you're really accurate and precise with your movements and you feel very comfortable doing it now another thing is to how always have your window settings set to the sixth the sixth notch so the one in the middle so you have a perfect one-to-one -one ratio of movement uh, in your mouse and also to turn turn off enhanced pointer precision now I've never known this shit like when I was a you know, played PC games from the very beginning. I had a very simple Logitech mouse and keyboard I got that were wireless. And it was a pretty decent mouse. I mean, it's pretty accurate. It's pretty good. I mean, that's what I've literally played PC games with my entire life until I finally bought my Mamba, like, last Christmas. And, uh, basically what I've noticed is that when I played back then, I always had a mouse acceleration on by accident. Now, I never knew this, but I knew this recently when I read on the forums and all that crap, what it does. Not to mention, I've always had it on the third notch from the left. Because my mouse always, by default, is really, really fast. Because it's like a, a simple wire. Like, I notice all wireless mouses, for some reason, on PCs are, like, super responsive. Whereas, like, a normal mouse is a lot more slow. And it was kind of annoying me, because I'm like, well, what the fuck is this? You know what I mean? Like, so I always turn down the sensitivity, not knowing that it fucked up my one-to-one -one ratio and all that kind of stuff. So I never really paid attention to it. I always thought it was still pretty good. I mean, even my Blacklight Retribution videos earlier on, you could look at from the beta phases, and those have been played with mouse acceleration and the thing on the uh, and the switch on the third notch. So it really depends. Uh, I started playing around with it, so I, ha I have it on the sixth notch now. I've done all those necessary things, and I've tried um, turning mouse acceleration on and putting the acceleration to the lowest in the Razer app. So I'm not really sure how this performs with different mouses. Now I know like there's like the, the Logitech G700 and all that kind of shit. I'm not really familiar with those. I'm not sure how the driver programs and all that stuff work or if you can customize and do all this crazy stuff. But the way I see it is that mouse acceleration is kind of like a built-in DPI switch in your mouse movement. Now a lot of you guys are probably like, well, what the fuck does that mean? Well, basically I mean that when you switch between mouse DPI settings by clicking the button to change the sensitivity, to me, it's like that in the mouse movement built in, because if you move your mouse slowly, it's kind of like an analog stick where it kind of like, you know, adjusts the speed based on how fast you're moving it, which is good for sniping at long ranges. Once I found in Counter-Strike, it can be more efficient because you're moving the mouse slowly or slower at a high DPI, so it's a lot more precise and uh, shit like that. Really depends on your play style, so there's really nothing to go on there. It really, you just got to play with yourself sexually as well as <laughs> like play with the game. Try out the settings, see what you find, feels better. But to me, I am in the overall, in the end, I decide that mouse acceleration turned off is best because it's a little bit more consistent, even though to me the whole consistency thing is kind of like, you know, based on how you you know how you prefer it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Take care guys.